Good morning. I got some uh, Max for Live updates. This time I have modified one of the basic Max for Live devices, which that's no also now been if you are uh, on Ableton Live 11, it's an audio device called um, Shaper, which you find under modulation here in audio devices. It used to be a Max for Live device. So if you're on uh, Live 10, um, you will find it here. If you just search for CV under audio devices, it looks like this. And it is like an advanced LFO where you can change it into a complex shape, uh, which allows you to map that to any parameter. Which is good, but I also like the idea of the the idea of this being able to be quite a complex envelope rather than an LFO that just runs continuously. So I have made my own configuration um, of this. So we got the TFP CV shaper which is now a MIDI device rather than a, a, an audio device. So it works pretty much in the same way. It's only that this uh, shape only gets triggered when you press a key rather than that it just runs continuously, which allows you to make quite yeah, complex envelopes and you map that to we got um, an FM synthesizer here so uh, the rate knob is basically the duration of how quickly it we've got some predefined shapes down here so it's quite a useful little tool and it's also let's see if we can just can we just make a clap probably gonna fail miserably now ah oh, and then we don't want to map it to that parameter we turn that down probably want to do it on the volume instead gosh that's pretty intense do not send. Oh, the sign we want white noise. It doesn't really sound like a clap, but you get the idea. You can create really complex and interesting envelope shapes, which is nice. Um, so if you sign up to my Patreon, uh, you will be able to grab this device and knock yourself out. I also got another announcement to make. Let's turn this back into not just noise. We have we got a nice tone now. Can't hear it anymore. Down that way, I ruined it. And let's make a new. Oh, obviously, I've turned the volume down. What an idiot. Uh, I've also made an update to the step sequencer that I had modified previously. Um, I had a message from one of my subscribers saying, like, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a reset button so you can. If you missed the previous tutorial, uh, I'll suggest that you look back at that one, but it basically allows you to um, create slightly more rhythmical sequences rather than just being running on a clock division. So so I've added uh, a reset button. So if you click that one, 
you can trigger this um, using either just manually like this or you can um, automate it or you can use the TFP uh, random on and off to um, which is another device that you can download from me check I'll put some link links in the description to videos about those devices I've also changed the random button which used to be a button that you couldn't MIDI map and in the same way you could use the, the TFP random on off to every so often when your sequence is running it just like shuffles the notes around. Um, that's all I have for you today. If you sign up on Patreon, you will be able to grab these two devices. And uh, I hope you enjoy the video. I will do more of a tutorial for, for the end of this week. Uh, so I hope you're checking back to see that one. Uh, have a good day. Bye.